Before there was Kelly and Ryan and Kelly and Michael, there was Regis and Kelly. What was their rapport like off screen? And how did it change after Regis left the show in 2011? Here is the truth about their relationship. It appeared that Kelly Ripa and Regis Philbin would be friends forever, especially after their mushy exchange on Philbin's last episode of Live in 2011. But it turns out their bond wasn't as strong as viewers might have thought. Philbin told Larry King Now in 2017 that they no longer kept in touch, which would explain why he was MIA during Ripa's 15th anniversary show. Ripa hinted that all was not well with them in 2013 when she told The Hollywood Reporter, I haven't seen him. It was a stark contrast from her interview in 2012 with OMG, when she said Philbin had contacted her a few nights before. According to Ripa, he called to tell me how happy he is for me and how proud he is of the job we're doing there and the great ratings news that came out. It should be noted that Philbin and Kathy Lee Gifford remained friends after the latter left live. Philbin even once joined Gifford on The Today Show and they still got dinner together from time to time, proving not everything in Hollywood is fake. You can blame Kelly Ripa for the falling out, or at least that's what Regis Philbin seemed to imply on Larry King Now. He said, She got very offended when I left. She thought I was leaving because of her. I was leaving because I was getting older and it wasn't right for me anymore. He made similar comments in an interview with The Insider when he said, I left and I think she resented that. I mean, that's how I feel about it. And I'm sorry because I wasn't trying to die from her. But I was a little tired, you know, and I was just turning 80, so I gotta get out of there. Philbin didn't point to a specific incident to back up his claim or say if he tried to reach out to Ripa to clear the air. It's possible he made just as little of an effort to repair the relationship as Ripa had. We don't know for sure since she didn't publicly respond to his finger pointing. However, it wouldn't be completely out of character for Ripa to get upset at a co-host for quitting the show. Philbin's replacement and former NFL star Michael Strahan told People that he and Ripa, quote, didn't really communicate that much after it was revealed in 2016 that he was leaving live with Kelly and Michael to join Good Morning America. In fact, she was so miffed by the whole thing that she purposely didn't show up for the live show following Strahan's announcement. Don't let the age difference between Kelly Ripa and Regis Philbin fool you. The mother of three insisted that she was more like the parent in the relationship, despite being 39 years younger than Philbin. Ripa related on The Wendy Williams Show, I irritate him that much, where I'm like, sit down, you've got to drink this, you can't do that, don't do that, don't eat that hot dog, you had heart surgery. Yeah. And don't forget the time Ripa slightly reprimanded Philbin for patting Nicki Minaj's butt. Ripa shouted after noticing his wandering hand, Regis! <laughs> Yikes. The secret to Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa's witty banter on camera might have been the lack of preparation and scripting involved beforehand. Ripa told the New York Times in 2017, Regis had a mandate, absolutely no talking off camera. He had almost a superstition about it. You save it for the show. I'd be like, good morning, and he'd say, save it for the air. Ripa apparently didn't feel the same way Philbin did. In that same article, Ripa said she and Live with Kelly and Ryan co-host Ryan Seacrest text at night and hang out on weekends. Philbin's unorthodox approach to TV obviously wasn't for everyone, but it spoke volumes of his emphasis on authenticity. He told Newsday in 2016, I used to force myself to go out the night before because if I didn't, I wouldn't have anything to talk about the next day. These days, some people have scripts and people writing for them, but in those days, I wanted it to be for real. I wanted it to be about whatever was going on. Despite their falling out, Kelly Ripa has sung her co-host praises on more than one occasion since they stopped appearing on air together. In an interview with the New York Times, she was asked how in the world Regis, who wasn't a singer, dancer, comic, or actor, continuously succeeded in an industry where many others with more talent have failed. She believes he thrived, in part, due to his ability to tell a story like nobody else could. She told the outlet, I think he's the world's greatest storyteller. That's his gift. Philbin had plenty of material to work with. After having spent six decades on television and having befriended the likes of Jerry Seinfeld, Barbara Walters, Don Rickles, and Donald Trump. But Ripa told Good Housekeeping in 2012, it was the less glamorous anecdotes that she missed most about Philbin. There was always something going wrong in his life, and that was always very funny. Nobody has luck that bad. Philbin, too, chose to focus on his good memories of Ripa when writing about her in his 2011 memoir, How I Got This Way. One of the book's passages reads, she could instinctively zero in on the funniest details, which came out of nowhere and somehow hit a comic bullseye. That knack of hers pretty instantly struck a chord with the audience. Clearly, he was in awe of Rippa, or Pippa, as he affectionately nicknamed her. Philbin also stated in the book that her talent, quote, came from, frankly, such an unexpected source. I mean, a young soap opera actress? He went on to add, Usually that kind of easy conversational spark is innate only in a special breed of broadcaster types. High praise, right? Maybe their friendship was the real deal after all. Regis Philbin's lovable curmudgeon act wasn't actually an act. Kelly Ripa told The Wendy Williams Show that the Philbin viewer saw on television was the same Philbin the show staff saw behind the scenes, complainer and all. During a 2012 appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman, Ripa said no one escaped Philbin's wrath, not even cute babies. She said, 
He hated Beautiful Baby Week. He didn't really like Pet Week. He didn't understand Back to School Prom Fashion Week and any of that. What did Philbin have against Beautiful Baby Week exactly? Rippa said, he didn't like it. He felt all the kids looked the same. Then she launched into an impersonation of a worked up Philbin. Hey, Pip, I can't tell. Does that kid look beautiful to you? I mean, I don't, I don't even think he looks right. They might have had their differences over the years, but when Regis Philbin sadly passed away in July 2020, Kelly Rippa was one of the first to pay her respects to the late TV legend. According to People, in a moving joint statement with co-host Ryan Seacrest posted to Instagram, she gushed, We are beyond saddened to learn about the loss of Regis Philbin. He was the ultimate class act, bringing his laughter and joy into our homes every day on live for more than 23 years. The daytime TV host added they felt incredibly fortunate to have considered Philbin a mentor and expressed a desire to live up to his sterling reputation each day they're on the air. Rippa and Seacrest concluded by stating, We send our deepest love and condolences to his family and hope they can find some comfort in knowing he left the world a better place. During their final broadcast together, Rippa had memorably told Philbin, Your light is what shined around all of us and made us look so bright for so long. Kelly Ripa's relationship with the late Regis Philbin might have been slightly strained at times, but her three children were his biggest fans regardless. During an episode of Live with Kelly and Ryan that aired just a couple days after the daytime icon's shock passing, Ripa revealed her kids absolutely adored Philbin. She said, What I love to remember about him is his relationship with my kids because Regis had this ability. He would talk to kids like they were adults. He didn't care if they were two or if they were four. It didn't matter. My kids responded to that in a way that was so, they just worshipped him. In particular, Rippa pointed to a moment when he described her daughter, Lola Consuelos, as a quote, gentile little lady. As Rippa acknowledged, she knew then how sensitively Philbin likely approached his relationship with his own daughter. As much as they butted heads during their many years working in close quarters, Kelly Rippa acknowledged there was nobody quite like Regis Philbin. After more than a decade hosting live alongside the TV icon, she had plenty of fond memories to share. While appearing on a special ABC tribute to Philbin, Rippa revealed the number one life lesson she'd learned from her late colleague. I think my biggest takeaway from the 11 years that I shared with him was that you have to be yourself. You cannot be one person on camera and a different person once the light goes off or the audience is gone. You have to be who you are. In fact, the daytime Emmy winner reckons Philbin's greatest legacy will be how the host made everybody he came into contact with feel like they were the real stars. Likewise, how much Philbin adored everybody equally will ensure he remains beloved as well. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.